In this video, I'll be showing you how to make crochet ribbing, which looks like this. So it's worked in this direction, um, but if you put it on its side, it sort of looks like a knitted rib. And in this video, we'll be using our shiny happy cotton yarn in hot pink. Let's get started. So to begin working your crochet ribbing, first make a turning chain of one chain stitch. So wrap your yarn around your hook and then put it through that loop. So now you're going to work one row in single crochet. So insert your hook underneath the second stitch from the hook. So not this one, this one. Wrap your yarn round and put it through and then yarn over your hook again and put it through both those loops on your hook, like so. So just keep on repeating those instructions to work one row in single crochet. So once you've reached the end of your row of single crochet, turn your work and you're now going to work one row in slip stitch. So the important thing to remember is you do not make a turning chain for this, the start of this row. So you insert your hook underneath the first stitch, wrap the yarn around your hook and then bring it through both of those loops, like so. And it's important to keep this row of stitches really nice and loose, because you don't want to put it in too tight, as it will affect your tension. So insert your hook through the next stitch, wrap your yarn around, and then put it through both loops to form a st slip stitch. So just keep repeating those steps right across this row keeping your tension nice and relaxed. So once you've worked one row of your slip stitch, turn your work and make one turning chain. So now you're going to work back across your piece in single crochet. And if you look, you can see that you've got two sets of Vs, one in front of the other, if you look at the top of your work. 
So in order to work your row of single crochet, you're going to go into the back V rather than the front V. So insert your hook underneath. The first one's a little challenging. Wrap your yarn around your hook and pull it through. Then yarn around your hook and put it through. So just a normal single crochet stitch, but make sure you work through the back set of Vs and then this will form a sort of chain or rib effect on the front of your fabric. So insert your hook, yarn around, put it through, yarn around, put it through both those loops. So just repeat those steps to work one row of single crochet. And you can see now why it really helps to make that row of slip stitches nice and loose because then it makes this row of single crochet a lot easier to work. So now you've worked one full row in single crochet, you can see that this line has appeared on the right side of your work, sort of looking like a rib effect. And if you continue to repeat those two rows of slip stitch and single crochet, your work will look something like this. <laughs> 